All right, Halos, welcome back. We are doing some patch notes once again. We're doing, we'd be gonna, oh my gosh, going to be doing patch 14.6 today, 16 today, oh my gosh, uh, with Drew once again. How's it going, Drew? Good, it's all uphill from here. Or exactly. Down, <laughs> Got all the guffs out of the way. Yeah, whatever's gonna be the best, it's happening right now. <laughs> But yeah, we got a pretty cool splash here, as we were noting before we started the recording. Uh, Anima Squad leaving in, I think, a few days, it says, near the end of the patch. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll come back. I think it will, because I think it got a lot of people playing it, so that was good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty popular. So. Yeah. Uh, the T1 skins are out. Um, oh, well, as of yesterday, um, we are a couple days late on this, but like not too bad. It was... Uh, about three days ago that the patch notes were released so um looks like the as of recording this the uh skins were released yesterday so it was pretty cool i saw some of them they had like um signature editions so they have like signatures and the borders i think so that looked pretty cool um got another faker skin there as well if, if you want to add to your fakers collection now uh, <laughs> Uh, we got rank split two end and split three start times there. So uh, the split two will end on September 24, and then split three will be September 25. Basically, they stop and and start at the exact same time, basically. Um, but it does have like the different time zones and stuff like that for all that. Um, but yeah, magic making improvements. Let's see. Increased off roll parity. Both teams should now have a more similar amount of players auto filled or placed in their secondary roles. Good been waiting for that for years um hopefully it's good <laughs> it's pretty good i played a bunch of games yesterday um seems more balanced it does seem, it does seem more balanced good it, it, the only downside is it seems like the queue times are a bit higher but uh I okay think it's, uh i think it's like a good trade off to be honest yeah probably i mean i i'd rather wait like a few extra minutes and not waste you know 30 or 40 <laughs> exactly yeah. um, as long uh. as yeah but yeah, uh, reduced how large LP gaps could be between players in game in a game. Okay, cool. Uh, decreased the red versus blue side imbalance, especially in higher MMRs. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then boosting and ranked manipulation penalties. Uh, so I guess they're hurting people that do that a little bit. Penalty for a second half. It's still a permanent ban. There's a warning for first time offenders. Okay, interesting. Um, so like win trading stuff. They're trying to crack down harder on that so that's that's nice um career stats profile we've introduced the career stats page because there were a lot of players looking to dive into the nitty-gritty details of their match history um, that was a few years ago and now we have lots of third-party partners that have created a ton of helpful and detailed tools um still invested in finding ways to help in player, players improve in league like with our bot AI update, but as less than 3% player, of players use the career stats page, we're making the decision to remove it from the client. No, I kind of liked that. Aw, that's too bad. Um, but yeah, I yeah, guess I you can... like going in there. But... Yeah. But I guess, yeah, you can use all these other places as well. And they're actually putting it in the passion notes too, so the unofficial sponsor. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, anyways, um, Azir, you want to start us off or should I? Uh, let's see, I can do a Zier. It's right. nothing too crazy. They're just giving him <laughs> yeah. a little, little, little buff here. Um, health regen is up from 3.5 to 5, and base armor is up by 2, or actually by 3 to 25. Mm. Um, make him, I guess, a little bit more survivable in civilian matchups, but... Gotcha. Yeah. But... Trying to, I guess, keep him up to date with, like, Corky and uh, Tristan, I suppose. Yeah, and uh... I gotta be careful with him, because he takes over pro play when he's yeah. like just slightly too strong so yeah for sure they're, they're trying to be careful with it i don't think it'll it'll matter too much but you know the tank is here as well was uh these would probably help him a bit to be honest mm, uh -huh, uh -huh. but it shouldn't be that big of a deal i don't think uh pretty nice buffs for him corky q phosphorus bomb we got monocost is up at all ranks uh except the final rank so the final rank is now 80 at all ranks um the same amount at the final rank and then uh cooldown was eight seconds to six now it's nine to seven so it's just one second up at all ranks as well so a little bit of nerf uh, a little bit more nerfs to corky as well hitting him a yep. bit seems fine it seems fine yeah. um okay katarina um they are doing some stuff to her so <laughs> uh the ap ratio on her q is up by 10 percent and also, uh, looks like damage is up 
every rank past rank one. It's like it's mm. 10, 20, 30, and then 40. <clears throat> so it's actually a fair amount of damage that yeah. they do in her Q. It's um, pretty I'm good. Not gonna lie. Uh, Shunpo, the damage is reduced. Yeah, just reduced every rank past rank one. So instead of 20 to 80, it's 20 to 60. Mm. So they kind of just move the damage from E to Q. And then her R on hit effectiveness. Um, down 5% every rank, which I don't think is... I think is the end of the world, but... Um, yeah, I don't know good, I if this is supposed to be a buff or a nerf. Um, it seems like there's rebalancing. Like I said, they're moving a lot of damage from her E to her yeah. E, so. Yeah, pretty much. They just don't. I think what Pat, uh, Freak was saying in the, in the pre um, patch, whatever uh, rundown, he was saying that they a lot of people are maxing E first, so they don't really think that it's like as good, and they don't really want to promote it too much. So they're they're obviously buffing the Q to make incentivize that, and then um, it is nice that the, the on hit is down as well for like a yeah, Blade yeah. the King type of things, stuff like that. So, all right, cool. I like this. This is fine. Um, and then Lucian, we got uh, Passive Light Slinger, Vigilance Damage, uh, the flat it damage is unchanged, but the uh, percent of total AD is up by 5%, so it was 15%, now it's 20% of total AD um, as well. And then Q, Piercing Light, the damage looks like it is down by 10 flat at every rank, and then everything else is unchanged pretty much, so it's a little bit extra, a uh, little bit less poke that you will be able to do out of your Q, but more out of, um, like, with, if you have your ally buffing you, basically. So they don't really think he's super great. They don't really want him that much in the mid lane, especially with all the people already exactly. there. So yeah. <laughs> buff buff the ally thing. Make him, be go, make him go bot or be with someone else. Yep, that's <laughs> the idea, for sure. Um, Oriana, you know, you have to drop a Oriana buff with the faker skin coming out so. oh yep true true you guys sell this all they just give it maybe five percent more ap but <laughs> that should yield um, this is spammed a lot so it's actually pretty skins. nice yeah 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 yeah. and they'll sell some skins so there you go uh but it is it is i think her primary damage and she does spam it so five percent will be noticeable i guess yeah uh, definitely she use it yeah definitely pretty nice for her uh kiana base armor is going from 28 to 31 so getting a little tankier there um q edge of Ixtal, and elemental wrath the damage is going uh, looks like up at rank one two and then equal at rank three and then nerfed at rank four and five not by much but by a little bit um and then the damage rate uh, bonus ad ratio is up by 15 percent on the bonus ad of course um so that's pretty nice as well scales a lot better um basically just more damage in the end um and then bonus damage to monsters so it's pretty much just a buff completely uh bonus damage to monsters also up by 25 percent um, and then W Terra Shape, bonus hot hit, on hit damage is going down. It was 8 to 64, and now it's 8, 16, 24, 32 to 40 in the end. Um, and then the AP and AD ratios are unchanged there. Um, that's just the on hit damage of it, of course. And then our Supreme Talent of, uh, Display of Talent, the damage, let's see, we've got... Uh, it was a plus 170% bonus AD scaling, now it's 125% of bonus AD. Um, so a nice hit to that, um, not being like as one shotty basically. And then, um, monster cap damage cap, uh, was 150%, uh, bonus AD scaling. Now it's 125% bonus AD. So 25% knocked off the, the damage on monsters as well. Um, or the cap, I guess. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Mostly, mostly like nerfs, I guess, but uh just definitely nice buffs her, her armor in your queue for sure yeah i don't think she can jungle yet but it looks like maybe with a few more buffs uh, yeah she might be able to jungle. definitely um but yeah it's i overall i would say this is better than worse to be honest i think so yeah i think so so yeah all right um uh, speaking Senna. of worse uh, <laughs> oh, have, you, have you seen these seven changes yeah a little bit i heard freak talking okay. about it i'm not happy so 
I would I would really? call this almost a mini like a mini rework to be honest. It's yeah, that's what you were saying. So I've played. I've, I've got ample experience with this. Okay, uh, from yesterday. So nice, let me nice. let me tell you. First, they they lowered her attack speed uh, from four to two percent. Boo. Uh, the group. <laughs> um, the passive. So crit strike it gives you is mm. down two percent per twenty. Sucks. Um, and then you is where they did a lot of a lot of the heavy lifting. So they they pulled out the lethality scaling yeah. from mm-hmm. it uh, entirely, and then they made it more um, what would you call it? more AP AP focused. Um, so they double the oh, AP yeah. ratio. Yep, yep. Um, and then the slow is percent wise unchanged, but they buffed up the AP ratio on that one as well, and the AD ratio by a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, so the Q scales really well with AP now. Um, the duration on her W is up, so longer stun at every rank, which is pretty good. Nice. And then the Dawning Shadow, um, again, they almost doubled the AP scaling, and they just flat buffed the early shield by 20 and the mid shield by 10. Um, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. So basically what they did is they turned her into a enchanter. Um, right, yeah. So I I played her twice yesterday, just built her like I would like a Milio or a Soraka or like a right. Karma. So, and, and her Q healed for like an insane amount. Like it was actually crazy. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't know if she's like... She kind of just blends in with the rest of the enchanters, if that makes sense. And I don't know, like she does heal for like a ton, so that is good. But um, I feel like I wouldn't pick her all that often because there's a lot of people who do that. And before she was more unique. Um, yeah. And then and then I had a I, then I had the unfortunate experience of a ADC who took Senna ADC and tried to build uh, like full lethality and just did. <laughs> negative damage when he came <laughs> it was so sad yeah um so he did not read the patch notes but uh, <laughs> yeah yeah what do you i know you like sana so i i'm imagining you don't like these changes um so yes and no uh overall probably no so this is, hurts really bad for sure because i i'm more of an 80 adc type of Senna, and i i liked when she was good at that and they've just been nerfing it over the years which kind of sucks um but yeah, this definitely hurts quite a bit. It's basically half your attack speed growth. Um, luckily, it's not that big of a deal because she doesn't really buy a ton of attack speed, but it still hurts for sure. Um, um, that's just growth per level, of course. So if you buy attack speed, it's still going to be the same, basically. Um, this definitely hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, but it is. It just definitely hurts at two percent less uh, each twenty stacks. So I mean, at what hundred stacks? That's like ten percent, right? Uh, less so, instead of like 100%, wait, what? 40% crit at 100 stacks, you'd have, uh, what, 36? No, you'd have like 30, right? I don't know, anyway, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, yeah. yeah, so definitely definitely hurts her a bit, but I don't think it's too bad, because there's still plenty of crit items that you're probably buying, um, especially okay. with Infinity Edge, um, stuff like that. And then the Q, I don't really mind the lethality, because to be honest, I've always thought lethality was worse than crit, and I still believe that, especially now. Uh, <laughs> but um, so yeah, they they only bo- buffed the the bonus 80 ratio, and the actual flat damage is actually from 80 at max rank to 120. So it's yeah. and I max Q or like obviously first. So yeah. um, I think overall pretty good uh, for the Q. Everything's just buffed straight up, right? So. Yeah, um, unless you go lethality, but yeah, I think if you go crit, that's the definitely the way to go. Yeah, yeah, and I only go crit pretty much. Um, I've tried lethality a little bit, like maybe maybe uh, eclipse or wait, does eclipse give you lethality anymore? I don't think yeah, it does. So. Does it? Okay. Uh, I can't oh no remember. no no, it's that it's that blue uh, opportunity or whatever it's called. Yeah yeah. So I don't really get it unless I'm gonna go like maybe an edge of night or something for a spell shield, right? But. Um, yeah, that's not a big of a deal. But the uh, the W is just a buff straight up, and then the R is slightly a buff, but I don't really build AP on it, right? So it's pretty much no, nothing's changed there for me. Um, so yeah, 
overall, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely interesting, and giving her extra AP, I don't really mind. I mean, it's not a big deal to me. I don't really build her AP. But uh, is, is Sword of Blossoming Dawn just a game mode thing, or is it in League, like Summoner Drift? Where you, like, every auto, you heal your allies, and it gives you, like, uh, on it gives you heal and shield power per, like, oh, yeah. attack speed or no, something? it's just game mode. It's just game mode, okay, because that would be pretty OP on her now, I think, <laughs> if it wasn't, yes. but... Yeah. Um, Anyways, and then also a little note down here, they added uh, Black Cleaver. It used to like mess up because when uh, Cinna would auto and then Q immediately after, it wouldn't actually it would only proc as like one Black Cleaver stack. Now it gives you the two stacks for doing that. So a uh, little bug fix there is actually really nice as well. So not that I build Black Cleaver on here, but hey, it's useful. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It seems overall pretty good in my opinion, but. This definitely hurts, and this definitely hurts, obviously. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you think? She's she better or worse? Mm, I think she's. I think she's better. I think yeah. I think she's better if you go crit or if you go AP. AP. Now. Yeah. Um, I think either one is fine, but just lethality, which everyone like I said, there were people still building your lethality yesterday, and it's just it just doesn't work yeah, at no, all. It's so bad. Yeah. As long as you stay away from lethality, I think it's fine. I think okay. it's fine. Because no. the lethality was only for the heal part. Um, yes. So this is not like this is obviously not damage. This is just for heal. So like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she really wasn't benefiting very much from lethality, to be honest. Um, yeah. All right, yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, Skarner, so base stats, base health um, up by 20, and then base attack damage up by 3, so a little bit stronger in her ba his base stats at level 1. And then Q, Shattered Earth, slash Upheaval bonus AD ratio is going from 60% to 75%, so his AD ratio is getting buffed a little bit there, so you can you can build a little bit more bruisery than just, uh, just tank. So there you go, nice. Nothing super crazy, Silas. I think that's fine. No, nothing too crazy with Silas, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's... But Silas, uh, he's some pretty good, uh, pretty good buffs they gave him. Um, yeah. They upped his health to 600 flat from 575. Okay. And then they um, gave him 5% more AP scaling on his passive on the damage to the primary target. Okay. 30% AP scaling. And nice. then Kingslayer, they upped the damage by 10 at every rank. So I think they um uh, like, taps. Yeah, they did more. They did this is like follow up buffs because they buffed him last time too. Yeah. Um, so they're giving him like an additional buff, which makes him I think pretty I thought he was gonna be pretty decent after last patch, so I think he's even better now. Yeah, I, I think he has been pretty good actually. Um Yeah. So yeah, definitely nice little taps to make him even better, pretty much Just more more damage. And a little bit more survivability, of course. He's actually a relatively tanky um, champion at the first several levels, so um, extra 25 health does does actually help, although it's not a big, huge deal or anything. Um, yeah. All right, Syndra, our unleashed, unleashed power. Damage per orb is going up in the flat department from 90 to 100, and then at rank 2, 130 to 140, and then rank 3, 170 to 180. So just up 10 damage at each rank, each rank per orb, to be fair. Um, so that's at least 30 damage, um, even if you don't have any Qs on the ground. So it's pretty, yep. pretty nice actually. Um, pretty decent. H helps her execute power. Um, it's probably honestly overall a good thing, but yeah, definitely can one shot you a little bit quicker. So be very careful <laughs> uh, if you do see her. <laughs> Vi, let's see. Vi is doing. Um... Just buffs from the looks of this. So the damage, the minimum damage on the Q is going from 45 to 145. And now it's 50 to 150. So five extra damage every rank. Yeah, nice. That's at the minimum, like the minimum distance. And the max distance for the Q um, on a follow suit, it's getting 10 extra damage per rank. Um, so 90 to 290. Now it's 100 to 300. So. Um, not bad. You do um, use your Q quite a bit to start off fights, and a lot of times you are trying to hit the max range. So yeah, um, yeah, I think it's good. Good buffs. Not nothing crazy. I don't think it's gonna make her OP, but 
yeah, more damage will, is always welcomed. Yeah, for sure. I don't think anything wrong with that. Just 10 damage is not really going to be that much for her, really. So I'll be fine. Um, that thing can go pretty crazy, especially if you build like Lethality, though. It's uh, pretty nutty. But I don't think 10 damage is going to really matter <laughs> in the end, really. Uh, but it's definitely nice. Definitely nice. Uh, Wukong passive stone skin bonus armor was five to nine based on level. Now it's six to ten, so basically just plus one armor at every rank that you used to have, um, or every level basically. Uh, so there you go. And then E Nimbus Strike bonus attack speed going from 35. It was 35 to 55. Now it's 40 to 60 percent. So basically up five percent at every rank. So just little taps to make him a little bit tankier and a little bit more uh, more damage on his E, basically. So, nice. Pretty nice for him. Um, Black Cleaver no longer prevents champions from applying two stacks um, for abilities that apply on hit out. So, like, Sunnet as an example. Um, I'm yeah. sure there's other ones that yeah, yeah. Um, fall into that category, too. But that's just, like, a very specific buff for specific champions that have that ability to... Yeah. A, a lot of like cleaver. auto resets, I think, mostly yes. yeah, type yeah. of things. Yep. All right. Uh, Blade of the Rune King. We got attack damage going down by uh -oh. five AD. Yeah, we got the nerfs for Blade of the Rune King here. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Attack speed down by five percent as well, and then on it damage actually up by one percent for melee only, and unchanged for ranged. So, pretty nice actually. But yeah, definitely, definitely that some some decent sized nerfs on the stats for sure. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Pretty nice stat stick. <laughs> You'll put just a little tap on if you're, you know, if you're yeah. ranged. But uh, good if you play on melee. Yeah, you get the ten percent. It's actually a little, a little more. A little better. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's worse for everybody. Dorn's blade yeah. is a straight nerf. Um, I don't think it makes it. I've I've been seeing people say like you shouldn't. I, I haven't seen. No, it anything. definitely doesn't. No. <laughs> You buy it in the same situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people are saying like longsword instead, and some people are saying Doran Shield instead of it for AD carry. But I think it's still no. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Like... <laughs> yeah, if, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good still. There's nothing really super crazy. It definitely hurts, but like, it's not that big of a deal really in the end. Yeah. No overreaction. It's just yeah. no, no. Um, it's all good. Death timer, death timer. I don't know that I saw this or noticed this. Yeah, go go ahead. You got it. Let me see. Death timer. Oh, they just made it. Okay, they just made it basically more. Um, every single level you die. Um, so you it used to be a six second respawn. Now it's a ten second respawn. Um, and then it gets kind of less punishing. Uh, as yeah. you get later and later into the game. Um, yeah, definitely. So, uh, I guess they're trying to reduce. What, what is their goal here? Uh, Where a player got killed in lane but gained an advantage due to teleporting back. So basically, like if you got yeah. a a nice kill over your opponent, worked really hard to do that, then your opponent just comes back with a teleport, freezes the lane or whatnot, and then you're just in a worse situation. So it's like you're punished yeah. for playing yeah, good, for kind of. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, the um, death timers were definitely super short. I've been noticing. So I'm kind of happy about this but it definitely sucks in some situations for sure as well so definitely a little bit more impactful to go for those kills early in bot lane like you get more yeah uh, out of it now you feel definitely like. definitely yep. might might get that turret plate now so yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're like oh they're back already like geez yeah it's like <laughs> all right well now now we're kind of behind the curve <laughs> yep yeah exactly and then Death Guards, they're also... I can't remember what they're doing on the... Oh, they're making it longer, I think. So Decaying Movement Speed was uh, the same percent Decaying Movement Speed now, um, but instead of over 5 seconds, it's now over 8 seconds. So... I think... I can't remember exactly what that means. I think it means... You can get back to lane a little bit. It's very slightly quicker. But, like... Yeah, yeah because... Run for a yeah, long. because you'll have... I think what he was saying is that... Even though this is nerfed, this is going to compensate for that same amount of time to get out of base. So it'll actually only be, instead of like four seconds, it'll be like three seconds, basically, of difference. Not actually like, or like, no, I think it was only like one or two seconds different or something like that. Because 
you would have obviously had to wait four extra seconds to get back to uh, to lane, right, because of this. And then this would only make it, like, not as long. So it's just helping that kind of balance out a little bit. So you are dead for longer, but um, this will help a little bit with that just so you can get out of base a little bit quicker still. And then the range of the fountain for when death guards start ticking down has been made more generous. So basically, uh, it would obviously... I th what he was saying, although I'm not sure if this is true, Freak, um, he was saying that... Uh, like the the home guards that you had out of base after respawn would be um, they would sorry my my brain blanking uh, basically if you spawned it would immediately start ticking down even if you haven't lived left fountain or something like that and now this is supposed to make it so that once you leave fountain then they start ticking down uh, that makes I think sense. that's what he was saying but I'm not sure if that's actually what they're doing because this says the range of the fountain is just a little bit larger <laughs> so I'm not sure but yeah that's what he was going for, at least. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, obviously, we got um, arena buffs and nerfs and changes and all that. Definitely check that out if you're interested. Like I was saying, the uh, the Anima Squad Swarm Operation thing is going to be ending on August 19th, so definitely get whatever games you can and get all those missions done as before before that happens, for sure. Uh, get that final title, Swarm Conquer, or whatever it's called, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Arium changes, obviously, a little bit of stuff there. The Mythic Shop um, going on here as well. And then, like I said, this SKT skins are out as well. But yeah, a little bit shorter of a patch today. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit bigger and like, nicer one next time around. But um, yeah, we also have the quality of life improvement here. They had uh, um, champion po mastery points that have been added back to the loading screen. So that's pretty cool, actually. I like that because I was kind of... I kind of liked uh, the old mastery points being able to see how many people have, but they removed it when they updated it. So I was like, what? Yeah, it's good that it's back. I think it's it was, sometimes you saw like a really like how many is 50 mastery? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Couldn't tell exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is nice. This is nice. Does it have both of them then? I haven't really played one yet. It does have both of them. Yeah. Okay, nice. Cool. Yeah. That's even better. So. Yep. yep. Sweet. All right, win-win situation. Uh, like I said, you yeah, have all, all that stuff, and then you do have prestige T1Js as well, and then a couple chromas for those as well. But they look pretty pretty nice, actually. Ooh, a new Jinx skin. I wonder if it'll be good. Yeah, the Jinx skin in game is pretty good. Uh, yeah? So, yeah? Okay. Yeah. What is that on his hammer? Looks like a loaf of bread, no? Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Any final words, Drew? Or... Nope. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a smaller patch, but some some kind of big changes are in there. So yeah, there's definitely some sizable ones for sure. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Get your get your swarm games in real fast, and then uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.